It is still very early when Indura wakes up to greet a new day. It is Wednesday, Indura's favorite day of the week. This is the day that she goes to the Adra Prevention Center after school, and she is excited. The Santa Barbara slum, where she lives, located just outside of Peru's capital, is still quiet except for those who are already making their way to catch the bus into Lima for work, or in order to look for work. After she makes her bed, she does some morning chores before having breakfast with her younger brother. Like most people in her neighborhood, the house where Indura and her brother live with their parents is very small and perched precariously on a steep hill. They live in constant danger of rock slides that could cover their house if there was a small earthquake. Today, as Indura goes off to school, she thinks about how different life used to be for her and her family. When she was little, her mom used to carry her on her back as she would go about her day selling things in the market. Often, she was also left sitting on a blanket all by herself, as her mother was trying to find customers for her products. Later, when her brother was born, Indura had to stay at home alone and look after the little boy. Because her parents were poor, she was not able to go to school. All of that changed about three years ago when Indura and her family met workers from ADRA, the Adventist Development and Relief Agency, who had started work in her neighborhood. ADRA conducted adult education classes where Indura's mother learned about the importance of sending children to school for an education. Her mother also learned many things about how to run a successful small business. Adra then gave her a loan so that she could invest in a small business of her own. With the help that they have received from Adra, Indura and her brother are now able to go to school. Indira is a fast learner and she has now been placed in the fifth grade. She loves her school. Her favorite subject is math and she thinks that addition and multiplication are great fun. Her teacher is very kind, but when the children are making too much noise, she can be rather strict. At recess time, Indura likes to play volleyball or just hang out with her friends. After school, Indura likes to do her homework right away. She then helps her brother with his homework before helping her mother with various chores around the house. She sweeps the floor and helps with the laundry. Even though there isn't much space around their small house, Indura likes to play with her friends after the chores are done. Finally, it is time to go to the Prevention Center. With the help of ADRA Norway, the Prevention Center was set up in Santa Barbara as a way to help children like Indura catch up to the other kids of her age in school. Because she started school so late, she was having a hard time, but once she started coming to the center, all of that has changed. She and the other kids in her neighborhood get help with their homework and get personal time with trained child counselors. Once the homework is done, the children put the books away so that they can play and sing. They learn many things that help them live better, safer lives, such as the importance of washing hands carefully before eating to help prevent them from getting sick. Sometimes, 
ADRA puts on special shows to attract more children to come to the prevention center and to inform parents about the importance of education. There are songs, dances, and fun games. Indura liked the catch the tail game they did the best. Maybe that was because she won. Sometimes there are visitors from Norway teaching the kids Norwegian songs and playing with them. Before, I used to have a hard time in school, and I got very low grades. But since I started going to the prevention center after school, my grades have gotten a lot better. Now, homework is fun, and I find it a lot easier to do. Besides learning how to do better in school, the prevention center is just a great place to go. We play games, we sing songs. The program has helped me to get a better understanding about many things. Recently, when I went to visit the women's ministry, I stood up before a large group and said, Children have rights and they shouldn't be working. They should be studying. Parents should be the ones who work. The ministry promised that they would create new opportunities for parents to get jobs so that kids can go to school instead of working on the streets. At the center, mothers also come to learn good parenting skills, how to take good care of themselves and their kids. A huge problem in this area is that children are beaten by their parents. ADRA is teaching parents how to support their children rather than abuse them. At the center, mothers are also learning how to make cakes and sweets that they can sell in the market. With the money that they make, many parents are now able to send their children to school. I have lived in the Santa Barbara slum near Lima for the last 20 years. There is massive poverty and many needs. There are many single moms living here with their children and they don't have any income. A lot of kids aren't able to go to school. With nothing to do, many become gang members. I want to thank ADRA Peru and ADRA Norway for the loans they have given me these loans have allowed me to start my own small business of selling things like blankets and clothes in the marketplace. The loans also helped me to buy a refrigerator, which I use to run a small business right here in my home. I make jello treats that I sell to the children in the neighborhood. With the money that I make in my business, I'm now able to send my children to school. In the ADRA workshop, we've also learned how to make baked goods that we can sell for a good profit. My husband and I are very appreciative of the things that ADRA is doing here in our community. It is helping to give our children a better life. Gracias, ADRA. As Indura and her family are having supper, Indura looks back at her day. It has been a good one. Best of all, she now believes that tomorrow and the days to come will also be filled with opportunity and happiness. She is setting her goals high and is determined to go to college one day and become a professional businesswoman. Thanks to the work that Adra is doing in her community and throughout Peru, Indura's dreams of a better life are now a real possibility she is grateful for what Adra has done to change her life.